I think my last published video was of Spellbound Dizzy. I'm pretty sure. I didn't check before I turned my camera on. Well, anyway, now I have uh, the same box set, but this time for my Commodore 64. Um, which has got the same five games on it. And uh, I think I'll do a video of the Commodore 64 version of um, Dizzy Prince of the Yoke Folk. I'm not all that familiar with the Commodore 64 Dizzy games. But what I do know is that the uh, the version of Spellbound Dizzy in this collection is a severely cut down version and kind of interesting in its own right because of that and I think there was a proper port made later a proper conversion made later on uh, Dizzy Panic is different Dizzy Down the Rapids is also different um, and Quick Snacks is actually not even a conversion of, of Quick Snacks. Actually, where is it? Yeah. Dizzy Prince of the Oak Folk. I do find it a little bit unusual that they've given us, what was it, four cassettes. Now, this has got two games on that one cassette, but all the rest of these cassettes have just got the one game on them. So, I don't know why they didn't save money. I've got my Commodore 64, my um, beige bread bin Commodore 64 all set up. And my very yellowed tape player. camera's going to run out of battery in a minute. Um, so, yep, as usual, to load up a cassette game, you have to hold down shift and press run stop. And then uh, it'll tell you to press play on cassette. But if you press anything on the... Um, if you press any of these, then it will just make the screen go blank. But it's ready, it's listening. So it's ready to go now. Well, first impressions, this looks exactly the same as the Amstrad version, and um, to be honest that's not really a bad thing. I suppose at the time people might have been disappointed because people that owned Commodore 64s, I think they pr would have preferred their games to look a little bit more colourful and less like Spectrum games. This is a nice quick puzzle to get you started, nice and simple. So this does seem to be a bit of a 
quick dirty port, I guess you could say. Um, although that's just the way games were done back then. The game seems to play pretty well though. I think Dizzy, surprisingly, Dizzy himself moves really, really fast. Um, you'd sort of expect a, a quick conversion from the Spectrum to be a bit slower, but it, it seems to be uh, pretty fast. Although the text boxes do appear noticeably slower. The game does feel different. Um, it it it's almost like the uh, the graphics were ported over one to one, but the actual uh, the way Dizzy moves is a bit different. Uh, I did struggle for a long time to to get up in those clouds. Crossing over from one screen to the next whilst standing on a, a small boat, um, and as as it moves across to the other screen, Dizzy and the boat are not in sync. Um, so Dizzy kind of shifts over to the right more than the boat does, and he'll fall in the water unless you're standing right on the edge of the back of the boat. Uh, so that's a bit, uh, I think I'd call that a flaw in the design. I think actually this is a really well designed game, um, although it was obviously going to be compared to the other Dizzy games and this is the smallest of the Dizzy games, um, so I think people would have maybe felt shortchanged. Um, Although keep in mind you were paying budget prices for these games. This is on a box set. You saw earlier uh, this was on a box set. Five games for £10. Um, so very good value for money. children screaming outside. I live right next to a school, so uh, you, know, you do hear children screaming sometimes. I don't normally record this in the day, 
Because um, I'm usually at work. So there you are, that's Dizzy Prince of the Oak Folk for the Commodore 64. And thank you for